she knows she's cool, she knows she's mad. She's wild, drinks tequila straight, she ain't shy. She'll try anything. As I've been doing this vlog, I've been getting a lot of questions from people that are interested in the process and just have general questions about uh, me and the vlog, and so I thought I would just take this uh, particular time to address some of those questions. Wait a second. All right. I didn't say action. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Getting all professional now. I gotta wait for you to say action. Dear Nash Girl 01, do you get nervous when talking to celebrities? Actually, no. I worked on Music Row for a couple of years and I got to work lots of different random events. And when I first did, I was like starstruck. And they told me in the office that I would eventually lose the starstruck factor. And I was working a radio event and um, uh, not long after that, and I was standing there and I realized Trace Adkins was right here, Sarah Evans was right here, Michelle Branch was over here, and I was leading Billy Currington around to all these different radio events. And I was totally cool with the whole thing. And I thought, you know what? We're all professionals here. Everything is cool. Interview. you. That's not my good sign. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bo Bice loves pizza. Did you bribe him with pizza to get your interview? Signed, I heart Bo Bice. I didn't bribe him with anything. Bo Bice was super sweet and very nice. And I just walked up to him and asked him if he would uh, do an interview with me. I love you. Well, with the hair colors, that works. <laughs> I got the little purple stuff. You do have a little purple. No, I'm not taking pictures. I love you, Jimmy. Thank you. What was the most awkward moment you've experienced during an interview? You know, the Predators vlog, just in general, was kind of awkward. I, I'm new to the whole hockey experience. I didn't know a lot about hockey. Hockey fans act different than music fans. I had a hard time getting people to talk to me for the hockey vlog. <laughs> right over there. It's a little bitty camera. Dear Nash Girl 01, do the cuffs match the collar? Signed, Battlestar Galactica Geek. Well, BSG Geek, I have only one word for you. Brazilian. So I'm standing outside Douglas Corner. Um, the show is continuing to go on. Oh, jeez. The show is continuing. Oh. Dear Nash Girl 01, three chords and the truth, or four chords and a lie? <laughs> Signed, fellow musician who also has a gazillion cats and dogs. Uh, three Chords and the Truth is definitely a very simplistic uh, idea behind songwriting. Um, Harlan Howard made that quote famous when he said, uh, Good country song is Three Chords and the Truth. Uh, fellow Missourian, fellow Howard Countyan, Sarah Evans, wrote a song called Three Chords and the Truth. I have a really hard time keeping to three chords. I have a classical music background, and I know all these really interesting and funky chords, so I'm always throwing in really interesting chords. Uh, my guitar player hates me for it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. No, no, no. I'm not ready to do it. Cut, cut, cut. Turn that damn red light off. No. What would the title of your autobiography be if you had to write and title it right now? Wow. Um, don't with a redhead. Standing outside waiting to see the mark for sharp. Dear Nash Girl 01, Cowgirl or Reverse Cowgirl? Signed. Battlestar Galactica Geek. Dear BSG Geek, stop asking me kinky questions. Yeehaw. Do you associate any music with any particular activity? For instance, I listen to Metallica when I clean. Yes, I have car wash music. Usually some sort of soundtrack, like from The Matrix or something very exciting. And when I go to a car wash, I will sit there and then I will wait to press the button until the car starts moving. And when the car starts moving, I press the button. 
Try it sometime. It's fun. Put in like Mission Impossible. You're sitting there waiting as the car starts moving. You hit the button and it's done, 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 done. Oh, we're here, we're here. Hi. 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 Video blog here in Nashville. All right. I was wondering if I could interview you with my super cool. Yeah, absolutely, totally <laughs> totally lootly. Rum, bourbon, or vodka? Jaeger bombs. Do not bust your breast out, Susie, please. No. Well, I figured you were going to them. Toss them out. What musical instruments do you play? Signed, Battlestar Galactica Geek's girlfriend, but don't hold that against me. Well, Kathy, um, I used to play, I used to be very proficient in piano, and I played percussion all through high school and college. Um, I don't really play those instruments as much as I used to, so I'm not really proficient in them anymore. I'm trying to get piano back in my fingers so that I can play out more and play more piano. I tried to learn guitar. It's, uh, it's an elusive instrument to me. I, uh, I don't play guitar very well at all. Okay. <laughs> The balls to say it. <laughs> the guy from Boston. <laughs> I cried in that for so long. Try it again. <laughs> Maybe we'll be back. <laughs> college roommate asked me some questions. If you could interview anyone at this time, who would it be and why do they interest you the most? Jeffrey Steele. <laughs> I think it's no secret that I'm in love with Jeffrey Steele. He's a talented performer, he's a talented musician, and he's just fabulous at the songs that he writes. The things that come out of the man's mind are just amazing to me. Um, I would be very interested to sit down with him and, and figure out what his process is and, and how he comes up with ideas and, and what it's been like uh, to be in the music industry for so long and to, to be so successful. me. I did a vlog on Victoria Banks. She emailed me, said, just saw the vlog. I love it with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight exclamation points. They would get pissy if I filmed some of you. I don't think so. I might warn them ahead of time. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Just tell them you're a big shot and you're filming. I don't think I'll let you do it. Love your Nashville. <laughs> popular. Dear Nash Girl 01, I love you and want to marry you. Are you rich? Uh, I haven't had it in a while, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching these vlogs. Uh, many, many more vlogs to come. I'm having a blast doing this, but if it wasn't for you guys, I would just be some idiot redhead blabbering to a camera. So uh, thank you for watching the vlog, and uh, tune in for more fun. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a good one, Luther? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going to be on like Facebook or anything, is it? Bye. She knows she's cool, she knows she's fine. She's wild, drinks tequila, stretch, she ain't shy. She'll try anything. She'll dance half naked on the ball with the boots on, scream cuss words and metal karaoke songs. The girls <laughs> And the dog you <laughs> <put> in on. <laughs> I wanna be that girl.